an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. Left twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. In a park on the left bank, filled with children and pets, there was a new theater with marionettes. about to see marionettes, puppets operated by strings. This is a very old form of folk art. Presenting Sleeping Beauty. Oh. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess named Beauty pricked her finger. And because a terrible curse, she fell asleep <gasps> and slept for a hundred years until a prince came and found Beauty asleep. To end her slumber, he decided to kiss her for <laughs> You know, if I wake her, she will have to change her name to Awake Beauty. Uh, I bet she will be grumpy and have morning breath. Yuck! Who needs that? <laughs> uh, let us sleep forever. <gasps> the ending was sad, and the children asked, why? A few of them even started to cry. Ever after. <laughs> Why would the puppeteer want to upset children like that? Hmm. The very next day at half past nine, off to the park went the girls in two lines. I think the girls are not sure they want to see the show, Madeline. Uh, perhaps we should walk another way. But look, Miss Clavel, today's show is the Three Little Pigs. What could go wrong with that one? The final act was nearly completed. The wolf would surely be defeated. But the problem ending was repeated. You know, we are just pigs. What do we know about architecture? We should stop building houses and live in the mud. <laughs> and why should I eat pigs when I can eat Miss Clavel, will the wolf eat the pearl chihuahua? And what about the pigs? No, ma chérie, no. 
This is not my idea of children's theater. Come, we will play on the swings. But Madeline still wanted to know why someone would ruin a children's show. The puppeteer must be very angry. Why? Pourquoi? And so the next morning, she dressed in a flurry and ran toward the door in a really big hurry. <gasps> But the girls had no interest in joining her scurry. It is not time to clean. It is time for our walk. The girls would rather do chores than go to the park and be scared by the puppets. Next, we are going to clean the toilets. Vive les toilettes! The girls scrubbed the toilets, the basins, and then. Oh no, I don't want to go in. Oh, I want to go in. They left for their walk a bit late at ten ten. Now I can find out why the puppeteer is so angry. Help! You want? You have scared the children with your shows. Why are you so angry, Monsieur? Why am I so angry? <sighs> Help me to pack my marionettes, and I will tell you. All my life, I, I have wanted to be an opera singer, now not a puppeteer. Maybe you should audition for l'opera, Monsieur. It is where all the great singers perform. I have, I have failed many auditions for Monsieur Larue at the Paris Opera, but I have been wronged. Listen. La, 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 la. He sang a common melody, loud it was, but quite off key. <laughs> the only work I can get is as a puppeteer. A waste of my talent. Perhaps it is not a waste. It could be what you are best at. <clears throat> Giggle the puppeteer. There have been many complaints about you ruining the children's puppet shows. One little boy is afraid the big bad wolf will blow down his chihuahua's doghouse. You are now banned from all of the parks in Paris. But I need to work. I do not like being a puppeteer. But I need to buy food. Gendarme, wait! As the puppeteer's assistant, you must leave too. <gasps> Before she could protest or shout. The gendarme went to lead them out. Something is not right. Sensing signs of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. Officer, officer, release that little girl immediately. Don't worry, Monsieur Giggle. I will set them straight. He sulks, he scowls, he pouts. He screams, he yells, he shouts. He's angry, mean, and rude. It's hard because he could, but that's not all that he's about. He moans, he whines, he frets. He jumps and others pets. He's tall and down and clear. But I've been watching him. She's not right. He has another side that he is up to hide. If he stops to moan, remind him that there's hope and he'll be quite satisfied. His bark is worse than his bite. His bark is worse than his bite. Just pull up a chair and show that you care, then he'll be quite all right. Perhaps the girl is right. Perhaps the girl is right. But if he loves to see the. 
sorry, but you must part company with Monsieur Gigol. He has been banned from the park. No! Miss Clavel, Gigol is angry because he wants to be an opera singer, not because he is bad. Opera? Ah, oh, how I love opera. So thrilled to meet an opera fan. Miss Clavel then changed the plan. Can we help him, Miss Clavel? Oui, Madeline, we can try. But Did where, where is he? When Madeline found him, to her dismay, Gigol was throwing his puppets away. Monsieur, you should treat your work with honor. Opera is honorable. Anyone can do this. In fact, you can have these. I, I don't want them anymore. Madeline looked at the puppet and thought, <gasps> this was a chance for a lesson to be taught. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Monsieur, wait! We have a wonderful idea. We are going to put on a puppet show for you. <laughs> Presenting Jacques and the Beanstalk. Bonjour, cow. I am to take you to the market to sell you. Oh, no. Perhaps if we pull very hard. <laughs> this show is not proceeding well, thought Gigol and Miss Clavel. Jack bravely climbed the beanstalk, and soon he arrived at a castle. Uh oh. A castle. A giant's castle. Janine! <gasps> Oops! Bonjour! Yoo-hoo! Me pie! Full fuck! I smell the blood of an Englishman! <gasps> oh! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> if my shows were like this one, it is a good thing that I have been banned from the park. Your shows are not like this. You are an artist. Operating marionettes is a special talent most people do not have. You are like us. I just do not believe you. Wait, what is this? It is an announcement from L'Opera. Open auditions today for Carmen. What luck! I will audition again! <laughs> he practiced the tunes with vigor and vim. The girls were aware his chances were slim. The Opera House is straight ahead. Adios, Matador! Oh. oh, little girls. If only I could do what I love, then I would be happy. Hmm. Have some water, Monsieur Gigal. You will feel better. A half-empty glass of water will not make me feel better. The glass is half full, monsieur. <gasps> oh, no! Look! <gasps> Look! It is L'Opera that is half full of water now. Um, oh, it is the underground lake. It has risen and flooded L'Opera. Oh, the costumes for tonight's performance are ruined. Oh, I shall have to cancel this show. <laughs> I have singers, but no costumes for them to wear. But what about my public? 
whoever put a leg under an opera house is a clod. Hmm. Why is there a lake under l'opera, Miss Clavel? L'opera was built over it, ma chérie. The lake was in the famous novel, The Phantom of the Opera. And it is still used by the fire brigade as a reservoir. At last, here I am on the opera stage. I am ruined. <laughs> this review says I should go on a long vacation to a small island. How kind. I will put it in my scrapbook. must untie those ropes. Oh, vite, uh, vite, quickly, me. quickly. We do not know the first thing about <laughs> untying rope. We just <laughs> sing. Look, Miss Clavel. Kigol moved fast, and soon he was trying to loosen the ropes that needed untying. As he skillfully conquered the scenery rope. He believed in himself, and that gave him hope. Oh, well done, monsieur. You did it, monsieur. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well... What quick hands. Oh, merci, Gigol. Perhaps Madeleine was right. Perhaps I have a special talent of some sort. Oh, now, if you could only save the opera... <laughs> Without uh, singing, of course. Kikol! Okay. He used a very special skill and worked and worked and worked until... The opera house began to fill. A little speech had been arranged to tell the house that things had changed. <clears throat> we have a very special and different performance of Carmen tonight. <laughs> oh, I cannot sing without my costume. Where are my pearls? Perhaps I cannot do this. Oui, you can, Gigol. It is your gift. The show began at 8.04. A version never seen before of Carmen and her matador. And spirits soon began to soar. Si tu ne m'aimes pas, si tu ne m'aimes pas, je t'aime. Mais si je t'aime, si je t'aime, I saved. Saved by you, monsieur, and your wonderful marionettes. No, no, monsieur. Everyone is cheering the wonderful singing. Monsieur, they are cheering you. Hmm. You have used your great talent to make people happy. You go looked up and down the aisle, and for the first time in a while... He broke out in a big, big smile. <laughs> a theater soon arrived, brand new, from the grateful Monsieur Leroux. Today, Figaro, this phonograph will make you sing beautifully. 
Ah, they make you dance, Peter. But, Madeline, what is wrong? Nothing is wrong, Miss Clavel. I am just so happy Gigana loves to do what he can do. You helped him to do that, Madeline. Toi aussi, Lulu, what is wrong? The show is so beautiful, it makes me cry. In opera, tears are shed galore. And that's all there is. There isn't any more.